at Morning Way in 163.4. Now I already know what you're thinking, I already know what you're thinking. Chuck, you lost three pounds overnight. What are you doing? Anyway, I did not lose it overnight. I just woke up and it's about 4 p.m. Yeah, it's about 4 p.m. So I went to sleep around 5 a.m. I was watching Californication. Damn, I watched like a season and a half. Dude, that was crazy. Great healthy sleeping patterns. Uh, spring break time. And, uh, you know, also on top of that, uh, didn't have any water. So I'm about to chug, damn, maybe a gallon of water. So I'm gonna fill this up all the way straight up with water, drink it. And then since it's my rest day, since like everything's closed too, I'm just gonna chill out. Not do shit, man. This is, uh, this is awesome. <sighs> but that's that. So, and also I'm talking to the coach today. Apparently he sent me some text about setting setting stuff into warp zone or warp speed or some stuff like that So I hope it's nothing too crazy but That's that. I'll see you in a bit. All right guys, so check it out. This is my first meal of the day So it's just an entire apple um, I'm not gonna eat my <clears throat> entire bag of almonds, but I'm gonna start on them And then I'm um, working on my first gallon of water of the day So this is just half a gallon so once I drink this, then I'm going to fill it up, and then I'll finish my first gallon of the day. So, yep, thought I'd show you guys what I'm eating this morning. I mean, I'm also watching some Dragon Ball. Alright guys, so I'm just making myself a protein shake. And uh, really quickly, I just wanted to talk about, like, uh, cutting uh, for me, and like what I've experienced so far. I've learned that I, like, I can listen to my body more. I guess it's really not some weird ass, like, idea, because... Uh, like last night, I was really tired, right, uh, from working out for so long. So I, I just had myself like 20 extra carbs or whatever, and a little bit more fats, and I felt really good in the morning. So it's just like, and my weight loss hasn't dipped at all. You know, it's just like slightly listening to myself, like when I when I know I need it, and it's super cool. I don't know. What, what, no, who knows, at the end of this uh, cut, who knows if I'm like a fucking, uh, I'm like a, like a wise wizard on my body. Let's hope, but there it is, ups to a protein shake, and then, uh, yeah, that's it. Alright guys, let me show you the first real meal of the day, so this is 8 ounces of chicken, and on top, got some green beans, I don't really know how many green beans, but I don't really think it matters too much. But that's <laughs> that's the first meal, as you can tell, that looks very, very gourmet. And so that's what I'll be eating. And um, yeah, and then six ounces later in the day. So this is about an hour after I've woken up. Hey, what's up? Kind of looking like a home, like kind of homeless right now. Just like the whole look I got going. One sec, just grabbing me a knife. About to cut me up an apple. Just thought I'd talk a little bit. So right now, it's about about eight eight o'clock. Yeah, it's about eight o'clock, and uh, I'm just about to eat again. And then, really quickly, man, I don't know why, but I kind of feel like I've just been in a slump recently. It might just because of the low energy. It doesn't feel too good. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But on top of that, it's just like to be. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be doing so. Like uh, energy-wise, you know, like uh. Like, I have a couple books that I've been really, really trying to read, man, and it's just like, I, I just keep finding reasons not to read them, you know? Like, I, I just watched Pump and Iron and shit like that, like, I'm just kind of fucking around right now is what I'm noticing. And uh, I don't really like that. Just thought I'd share that. Because <laughs> I'm going through, like, bro, this cut is like the stupidest thing I've ever done in my entire life, and I think it's hella funny. So, uh... I'm studying abroad, I'm forcing myself to eat a certain way, and like everyone is just like, yeah man, we're just gonna go on out drinking and shit, and here I am. Low carb, feels great. You know, it's just kind of like a, a slight degree of FOMO. If you don't know what FOMO is, it's the fear of missing out. And as I can tell, I am not in focus. See, what you gotta do is you gotta put your hand up, right? I learned this shit from, uh, yeah, there you go. Hey, there you go. Anyway, that's how you get it back in focus. Am I really out of focus again? God damn it, man. This is the hardest shit. Okay, oh, oh, there I am, there I am, there I am. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna keep my head all kind of fucking tilted like this right now. But yeah, man, just a little bit of FOMO. 
nothing crazy, just like, you know, thinking about like, dude, do I even, do I even want to do this? Do I even want to, all that fucking shit. You know, if you doubt yourself enough, like eventually you're going to find reasons not to do it. So just that kind of idea going on in my head. But like, I just know I got to push myself forward. Because it's just definitely, because by the time I'm 20, right, which is June 3rd, the day this competition ends, I'll turn 20. I'm thinking about doing a competition June 10th, my first ever bodybuilding competition. But see, I'm not sure if I even want to do that. Because of like how this is going, how I'm feeling, how, like, I really like fitness, right? I love bodybuilding. Cutting like this, where I can't enjoy bodybuilding. I remember, let me tell you a story real quick, actually. So this is a story from a while back. It was about, shit, I wanna say a year ago. And that was, uh, I went to Qdoba after one of my workouts with, uh, one, with my boy DR. Again, he was in uh, my earlier videos. So when I go back to the States, he'll be in my videos again. But after, after an intense workout, I went to Qdoba, which is like a, the equivalent of like a Chipotle, which is the equivalent of like a Mexican grill if you don't have a Chipotle. And I remember going and getting like a, like a bowl, uh, which is just like rice, beans, chicken, and then I got some cheese on it. And a couple of the guys who work at the gym were there, and they're like, Oh, Jolt, are you, uh, are you eating cheese? Uh, isn't that going to ruin your gains? And I remember saying, I was like, but you know what? Bodybuilding adds to my life, but bodybuilding is not my life, you know? And that's, that's a lot more of the way I enjoy the sport, and I enjoy it. I enjoy it because it adds to my life and not so much is my life. Because, like, I don't want to be a fucking Mr. Olympia. I don't want to fucking, I don't want to be... At this level, I like, it's not that, that's not cool, that's awesome, right? But it's like not, I don't have that extreme want or desire. So currently right now what I'm thinking about, about this whole like lifting thing, is if I get down, if I get cut, let's go to the possibly can boat by the time I'm 20, hit it, and then every year after that, I can just like keep coming back to that, keep trying to beat it. But at the same time, it's like, I'm not going to really want to get this cut ever again. I don't think. Well, it's especially not like this fucking way. This fucking sucks ass. Being low carb all the fucking time, this shit sucks dick, man. So, <laughs> for damn sure, I'm not doing it like this again. But yeah, that's all I got in my head right now. That is shit. Because it just, just makes me like, especially because I'm in a foreign country. Fuck man, this entire fucking video is out of focus. I'm so sorry. But just because I'm entirely in a different country doesn't really help. I'm feeling kind of lonely. All that shit, man. I'm feeling kind of lonely, man. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's that. Anyway, that was my Apple talk. See you guys in a bit. This is it just going to be a day of me in the fucking kitchen, it looks like? Anyway, second protein shake. That's all I got. Thought I'd share that with you, too. Alrighty, man, last meal of the day. Uh, six ounces of chicken, bag of greens, and some green beans. That is the meal of the day, and I'm just going to warm up my chicken before I obviously eat it, because I ain't trying to catch no goddamn diseases and shit. So that's that. Thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing. And uh, I think that's the end of the food. All right, guys. Let me show you my secret sauce. This is uh, this is a trademark Jot sauce. No, don't don't mind to look at the label at all. This is a this is 100 sauce that I made in my own hands. Um, but yeah, man, just a little bit of barbecue sauce on my chicken, make that shit taste a little better. And yeah, that's it, man. This is my this is my <laughs> that's my signature. That's why they call me Chef Jot, bro. Another fucking magnificent, magnificent meal prepared by Chef Jordan. I mean Chef Jot. Alright guys, it's the end of the night. Thought I'd end you off here. Just snacking on some greens. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you tomorrow when we have legs. Tomorrow's my refeed. Cannot fucking wait. And uh, that's that. Peace.